So now we'll look how we can manage our different users uh, at the Manage Jenkins page. Now I already showed you how you can create a new user by going to the authentication settings and enabling the sign up option. And it will allow your users to sign in, uh, sign up to create a new user at the login page. But what if uh, your admin doesn't allow that, right? So for administration purpose, uh, you can manage your users uh, within the Manage Jenkins page. So there's an option, uh, Manage Users, which is kind of a database kind of thing where you can see all your users. You can um, edit your user settings. You can delete the user. So let's go ahead. So these are the three users which are created in this instance. And uh, if you click on this wheel kind of button, so it's going to take you to the configuration page for this user, right? Uh, you can view all the uh, entries which you have filled for the user. So you can change whichever entries you want. You can generate an API token for this user. Uh, you can create SSH public keys for this uh, user, right? And a lot of other things. So if you want to delete this user, go ahead and click on delete. It will ask you for a confirmation and click yes. And so that user is now deleted. So let's go and verify that. So that user is no more present, right? Then how we can create a new user. So click on create user and it's the same form which you need to fill, right? So it is going to create a new user for you. So let's just do that. Right, so it's going to create a new user for me and it will be listed down here. So, so this is uh, pretty simple uh, how you can manage your users, but it's uh, still important if you are uh, an admin for your Jenkins instance, how you can add your user and uh, make any changes to that user profile, right?